Hey everybody, I'm Alex Big Blue, and today I have a comic haul for you guys. I've gotten a lot of books recently that I haven't showed off, so I'm going to get right to it and show you guys what I got. So starting off with one that I got for a dollar, the Uncanny X-Men number 507 with an amazing Colossus cover. Love the red background on this for sure. Alright, some more books that I've picked up recently was Avengers vs. X-Men number, or I mean round 8. I have the first two and then like six and some of the other ones too and I want to read it all but I thought I'd go ahead and get this one while it was cheap anyways. I think it was just like a dollar or something. Uh, so yeah, I didn't have this one yet and I wanted to get it so I can continue that. Uh, yeah, very awesome Namor cover there as well. Next up I have Marvel Fanfare number two. I think I got this one for a dollar too, I believe. Um, yeah, this looks really cool. I love the artwork on this and... All of the Marvel fanfare stuff that I've checked out before was really cool. I had one or two of them at least, and so I was very happy to get this one. Very beautiful cover art. Oh, slid down there. Next up, we have Fantastic Four number one of this new series. This one has uh, Ant-Man in it as well, and She-Hulk, and uh, I forget what her name is right off the top of my head, but also uh, we get uh, the Inhuman uh, Medusa. I don't know why I blanked it for so long, but... And this team as well. So yeah, it looks like a pretty interesting lineup. I'm ready to read that one so I can check it out. Great cover too, by the way. Oh, and then I continue my Alex Ross Timeless cover uh, collection with the scroll cover. I actually have it, which I love, by the way. It looks awesome. I love the art on this, of course. I actually don't know um, what this book is. I forgot to look it up. I may put it what it was in post so you guys can see it, but... Yeah, I thought this looked really awesome. Very excited to pick this up. I'm trying to get them when I can. And I gave uh, five for that one. So, But I was okay with that because occasionally I'll get one for that if it's something I really want. Especially when I'm trying to collect that thing because I like those covers so much too. Um, next up for, I guess, I think it was a dollar unless it says otherwise generally. I got uh, Dark Agnes number one. I thought this looked really interesting and I was happy to pick it up. Kind of want to read that and see what it's all about. Very cool artwork too. Also got some uh, some more of the New Warriors. Uh, so New Warriors number thirty five. I got this one apparently for three dollars. I think this was at Peddler's Mall, if I'm not mistaken. I think this looks really cool. I, like I said, I love reading the New Warriors, so I was very excited to get that. Also, I got uh, number thirty three, which is two before the last one, uh, for a dollar. I think I got this one on my LCS maybe. These next four books I got for free from my uh, comic shop, my LCS. They just randomly gave them to me because we're, you know, uh, customers there a lot. And it was really awesome. So, yeah, I'll be showing you which four books I picked up. And then they told me it was free. So, it was awesome. So, first off, we got Spider-Girl. And it is the stunning first issue from 1998. This is very cool. I love the white background on this, too. And, yeah, I'm really excited to check this out and read it. And also, The New Warriors number 19. Very beautiful cover of that. I love The New Warriors, and I'm trying to collect this so I can read the rest of it. I've read a whole bunch of it and collected it here and there. And, uh, yeah, finally got some more of them, including the first issue, by the way, which I read recently. All right, next up, we have The Uncanny X-Men number 298. This and The Last New Warriors one and Spider-Girl. Of course, all three of the four free ones. And I didn't have this X-Men issue yet, and I'm collecting that when I can because I love reading X-Men. Uh, so yeah, very excited to get that one for sure. And then I have uh, Fallen Son, The Death of Captain America from Jeff Loeb and John Romita Jr. But yeah, very cool looking black cover on this one for sure. Uh, I don't know if this is a like a one-off or if it continues into something else or what. I forget, but either way, it looks really cool and I was wanting to get it because I love Cap uh, well, Captain America in general, but collecting Cap and reading him anyways. And next up, I got Captain America number 369. I got this for one fifty at Peddler's Mo, which of course is the one of the places that I find a lot of the books I like a lot, especially for decent prices. And they seem to uh, renew their stock fairly often too, as there's a bunch of different vendors and whatnot that sells them. But yeah, anyways, I think this Captain America book looks awesome. I love the cover on this with crossbones in the background. Here comes the skeleton crew, as if the Black Queen weren't bad enough. <laughs> Yeah, just really cool, awesome cover on this, and it's another cat book I didn't have, and I want to read through this, or all the ones I get, at least, around this time. And yeah, very happy to get that one for sure. And also, while I was there, I got a uh, two-pack of Thunderbolts books. 
And it was uh, 319 for both of them. So, yeah, putting them both around 160 or something like that a piece, give or take. Uh, but starting off with Thunderbolts number 112, an awesome cover here. And it is part of the initiative, that storyline, which I actually like. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's a really great cover. You see Venom, Bullseye, and I think maybe Green Goblin down there in those, like, circles here. And, yeah, really cool. You get Radioactive Man on the front. But, yeah, I think this looks really cool for sure. And for the last one, it is two books later in that run. It is Thunderbolts number 114. It is also part of the initiative. And it has an awesome cover with pennants on the front. And, yeah, I really love the Thunderbolts in general. I love reading them, so very happy to get these for sure. I'm Alex McBlue. Thank you guys so much for watching my haul. See you later.